everybody, it's Rebecca at the Department of Revenue. I'm coming at you from the concourse level of the Municipal Services Building here in Center City, Philadelphia. Um, a lot of people know that the Department of Revenue is the department that assesses taxes for the School District of Philadelphia as well as the city, but what they might not realize is that we also are responsible for water charges. Uh, we, get, we get a lot of questions about, about folks' meters and about billing, and so we've brought Gary here from the Philadelphia Water Department to talk to us today about how to read your water meter. Thanks for joining us, Gary. Thank you. Great. So just to start, tell yeah. us what you do for the for the, the water department. So I'm an engineer in the Philadelphia Water Department. I work in their operations group, and I help them on projects such as metering. So if they have metering questions or concerns, I'm one of the resources they rely on to provide guidance. Okay. And so let's just start ba with the basics. Like yeah. where would I even find a water meter in my house, and yeah. how do I tell it apart from other utility? So the easiest way to find a water meter at all, this is a most of typical example you'll see for a residential house, you'll find them in the basement. So it'll be in the basement wall, street side. But if you don't happen to have a basement, they're most common on the first floor house closet. So in the back of your closet is one place for it to be. So it's going to be on the wall of your house closest to the street, yep. either in the basement or on the front floor. Yep. And it's the water customer's responsibility to keep that clear and accessible in the event that a water inspector needs to come see it. Correct. As well as the climate so that it doesn't actually freeze because it, it does have water going through it and they can freeze and then break at that point. So what should, we talked about an inspector possibly visiting, what should water customers expect yeah. when a water inspector visits their property? So there will be an identifier inspectors with two forms. One will be in the Philadelphia Water Department uniform and they'll also be able to display a Philadelphia Water Department ID with them as well. And and if there's any concern or you yeah. are worried about whether or not the the person in front of you is indeed yeah. a water department employee, you can always call. Is that yeah, so if you contact us, we'll be able to know and match that there's a, an active work order for that location and verify that they're there for that work. So you just call the number on your bill? Correct. Okay, great. And then in the very rare event that a person or that the water department can't get a reading, yeah. what happens? So, for example, if we can't get a read and your bill is get estimates, so if you look in your bill and you see a bunch of estimated reads, We'll try to contact the customer. So we might send you a letter, we might try to call you, and we'll also walk to your house and actually knock on your door. And in that instance, if we knock on your door and you're not there, we'll drop off a notice such as this, letting you know that we were there and that we have to come in to correct an issue with the water meter. Will you always reach out to folks before you visit? Is that is that a guarantee? So we'll try to reach out by phone or via a letter, but we'll also, if we're in the area, just go there and, and knock on the door and leave a notice as well. So. You should receive some contact, but as long as they have the IDs and you can, we can verify it, they'll be there for efficient business. Okay. So getting back to what this, this awesome thing is that's in front of us, can you tell us more about what we're looking at here? So the water meter is made of a few components, one being the meter itself that measures. It's got a register on it that reads, and then it's got the back part, which is the radio that actually transmit your reading. So the numbers that are important to our customers are... Most important to them are these white dials. So on your bill every month, you'll see a register reading, you'll see a bill read, and these white dials are the actual bill. The other numbers that you might see on your bill are the meter number and the radio ID number. So if you're a person with multiple accounts, you want to verify that you're reading the right bill, the right meter, you can match this radio number, which is on your bill, and this meter number, and that'll also correspond to the radio. So you know you're at the right meter for the right bill. So I'm gonna hold this up for Joseph so that maybe he can see it. So. Is that, can you, does that look good? Can you see it, everybody in, uh, in YouTube land? So there's also on the side there, stamped right into the brass, is the meter number. The white numbers there are the usage, and that's what you should see. It should be pretty close to what's on your yes. bill. And then on the very, very top is the radio number that's actually what communicates the reading to the Correct. water department. And then there's this like silly number here on the top. That doesn't mean anything. Just ignore that one. So we want to only point it out just so you know that you don't need to worry about it. Okay, and so this blue dial though, it's my understanding that's really important. Yeah, so that's, if you see the blue dial spinning at any capacity, so if you go down your basement, you look at the blue dial and it's spinning slowly, you just watch it for like 30 seconds, that means you're using water. So what that means and why it's important to you is because that means if you're using water, you're also paying for water. So what we recommend is you go through your house, you shut everything off, and then you go back and you look at the dial. If the dial's still spinning, that means you have a leak. The most common cause for a leak for us is a toilet leak. So that's the first place to check. If you can't discover the where the leak is coming from, 
we recommend that you hire a, a plumber because we don't know anything inside your house about how the plumbing works, so we can and assist beyond the metering itself. Okay, so if you think you have a leak, shut off all the water in your house, Correct. run downstairs to your basement, to your easily accessible water meter, and you're gonna look at the little blue dial. Yeah. And if it's spinning at all, you said like look at it for like maybe 15, 20 seconds yeah. or so. And if it's spinning at all, that yeah. means there's water, some, there's water being used in your house someplace. Correct. And if you think you have a leak, you should call a, a registered plumber. Yes. Okay, I think we can do that. And it's really important because any kind of leak can mean a big change to your water bill. Yeah, so even a leak or a combination of two leaks that add up to like an eighth gallon, which is pretty minute, actually will double the average bill over the course of a month. Wow, doubling yeah. is a lot. Yeah. And the water customer is still responsible for that bill. However, there is help available. We recommend people check out villa.gov slash revenue. There's a lot of information about things like the tiered assistance program as well as any payment plan. You can also find information at villa.gov slash water dash bill slash dash help. And we'll have the URL right there at the bottom of the screen here. Um, so if you are having any trouble at all paying your water bills, we recommend you check that out. Um, and there's also a really, really great new guide for water customers, this one. Um, and you can find this. This was really awesome. The water department put it out earlier this year. It's got things like diagrams about what is the responsibility of the city, what's the responsibility of the property owner. Also, some really interesting information about how to read your bill, if, um, if there's anything that's confusing on there. Um, you can find this, it's kind of floating around the community, but it's also online at fill.gov slash water under what's new, and we'll have the URL right there at the bottom. And we want to remind folks to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Phila Revenue. We'll be posting information like this pretty regularly. And you can follow the water department on social media, on Twitter and Facebook at Philly H2O, and you can follow the Department of Revenue at Phil Revenue on both Twitter and Facebook. Thanks, everybody, and thanks for coming, Thank Gary. You very much.